Hi everybody, welcome. We are at again the guest. <clears throat> Kay Ajinan or Ajulin. Very, very spiritual this one. Um, we've turned up and if you come inside <laughs> the street lights aren't really gonna be that much used because there's already seen extra light plugging in. So this is what we found. There's a staff over there, so it's clearly been in some use for some spiritual, you know, dwellings. And uh, yeah, very, I think this one's quite eerie, if I'm being honest. It's small, but they definitely think about it. Because when you come in, you see this stone, it's almost quite arthurium. And then uh, if you film up there, that's pretty much the other side of the cave in terms of where it ends on that. And if you look up, it's huge up there. In fact, there's actually, if you can actually walk back, mate, if you can, there's a shelf up there, look, for where the rocks have come up here, look. Yeah, got it. Yeah, incredible, isn't it? Just slabs and slabs of rock. And then looking out, look at this. There's not much um, about this that's, that's um, mentioned, in fact, there's barely anything really. We know again that there was flint, we know that again only man was using this, Neolithic, Mesolithic. The caves are kind of in a sort of disrepute because it's not really much history. You, you sort of have to go by the sort of principle that, you know, whilst, whilst here, what there is that you kind of have to use your imagination a little bit um you can understand it's being quite spiritual um it's definitely got an acoustic resonance to this cave as well the only problem is you can hear the main road quite clearly which is a bit of a shame so it's not that sort of peaceful tranquility that you kind of associate with a lot of places that are sort of similar um which is a shame but you can see how perfect the arches almost to a triangle, perfect triangle on the way out in the way that there's a step here or a sitting stone and then it just, it's just, I think these ones are really good and you can see all the layers of topography as well it's incredible oh, come down mate, yeah. look, just all those different parts so what so what, as always, with graffiti, a uh, lot of graffiti stuff from outside of this. And a lot of incredible things as well, things like this. You can see, the, you can see all the tool markings. Sorry, yeah. You see all the tool markings that somebody's kindly cut out what almost looks like a window. Um, I'm standing back. Um, and just so beautiful again in its own right. Um, just notice that there's a weed up there, look, sticking out. But this is how we found it. So, that's the idea is we just found it like this. You know, we found the star and everything else in there. And all this beautiful graffiti. A lot of it's quite early. For example, we've got 1840 there. Um, 1760. 1760. You know. So you can imagine like you sort of, you know, people coming here, checking this place out, you know, early tourists, and just sort of coming here for a day out and having a look at this. And what's nice about it is that they've kindly, you know, <laughs> brought it in for you. So you sort of know, oh yeah, this one's a cave. Um, this is pretty much our final thing to that. Jimmy's kindly uh, filmed some footage for you guys to check out, aerial footage. And uh, yeah, just, this is gorgeous, isn't it? So, and then we're looking out onto this forest that is uh, beautiful. Mm. So, thank you as always for joining me, joining us, me and Jimmy especially. I'm sure the camera work's going to come out top notch. Yeah. Uh, or else. <laughs> no, um, 
Thank you as always. Uh, take care, everybody. See you soon. Bye.